Welcome to Learnpedia, the JE and NEET coaching at your own pace as per your schedule. Now, let's see if you can answer this actual NEET question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch the full video. So first thing we will do, we will try to calculate where it is located for different systems. Now I will take the position of center of mass of two particle systems. Let us say a body is made up of two particles, M1 and M2 at a distance of R. Imagine center of mass is lying along this line because there are only two particles and I will take its little M1 is heavier than M2. So I can position it, center of mass is suppose at this point. Then with respect to this point, let us take M1 is at a distance R1 and M2 at a distance of R2. Then let me call this point as point C. Then about this CM point, center of mass point. Remember, we are going to write about the center of mass point. The sum of movement of mass, that is mass into distance, about the center of mass, now onwards I will represent as CM, is equal to 0. Sum of movement of mass about center of mass 0 means summation product of m into r must be equal to 0. So center of mass particle is located in such a manner that summation of m into r is equal to 0. So suppose if I take summation m into r for system of two particles, mass m1, if I fix the coordinate system at this point, this distance is r1 in the opposite direction. So minus r1 plus m2 from here, let us say this distance is r2. So m2, r2, the only two particles are there, should be equal to 0. Or remember, always m1, r1 will be equal to m2, r2. This is a very important conclusion. Sum of movement of mass, movement of mass means m into r. Movement of mass about center of mass should be equal to 0. That means if this mass is heavier, r1 will be less. Because product of m1, r1 should be equal to m2, r2. So if mass m2 is lighter, r2 will be greater. Okay, so product of M1 R1 should be always equal to M2 R2 for the two particle system because sum of moment of mass about the center of mass is equal to 0, right? So we have located where is the center of mass. Now let us take the coordinate axis X and Y so that we can also get the coordinate of this center of mass. To know the coordinate of center of mass, let me call the coordinate of mass particle M1 is X1 that is the distance from here to here. The center of mass C is located at a distance from here. It is equal to Xc. C is the coordinate for center of mass. And M2 mass is located at the coordinate X2. Since all of them are along X axis, we need not to give a coordinate of Y axis. Y is 0 for M1 as well as for center of mass as well as for mass M2. So X1 is the coordinate along X axis for mass M1. For center of mass Xc, for M2 it is equal to X2 and we have fixed the, our coordinate system's origin 0, 0 at this point given. Then we can write the value of R1 and R2 in terms of the coordinate system. What is the value of R1? From the figure R1 will be nothing but Xc minus X1 and what will be R2? R2 will be nothing but X2 minus Xc. Substituting these two values in this equation M1 into R1 Xc minus X1 is equal to M2 into R2 X2 minus Xc. Let us expand. M1 Xc minus M1 X1 is equal to M2 X2 minus M2 into Xc. So bringing all Xc term together M1 plus M2 into Xc is equal to M1 X1 plus M2 into X2. So coordinate of center of mass Xc can be written as this is M1 plus M2 as the total mass to m1 x1 plus m2 into x2 or xc can be written as m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 or m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by total mass as called capital M. So if we know the coordinates of the mass particle m1 and coordinate of mass particle m2 then easily we can calculate the coordinate of Xc or coordinate of center of mass. Let us see if there are multiple number of particles where we have M1, M2, M3, M4 and all so on and so forth. And imagine the coordinate of this point is X1 
comma 0 coordinate of this point x2 comma 0 coordinate of this point x3 comma 0 and all are along y axis so x4 comma 0 so in a simple notation in general formula as we wrote if m1 m2 m3 are taken along a straight line then if m1 m2 m3 and so on and so forth are taken along a straight line at a distance of x1 x2 x3 along the x axis since there is no y coordinate here then simply we can write xc is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 and so on and so forth here four particles have shown m4 x4 divided by the total mass m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 if there are n number of particles we can extend this as m1 x1 plus m2 x2 so on so forth up to mn xn divided by m1 plus m2 plus so on so forth mn or we can write it sigma i is equal to 1 to i is equal to n mi xi divided by summation i is equal down to i is equal to n mi which is also written as summation i is equal to 1 to i is equal to n mi xi divided by the total mass of the system let us see two particle system in x y plane let me call the coordinate of this particular particle let us say this is r1 vector position vector of first particle similarly position vector of second particle this is r2 center of mass let us see at this particular point this is point c center of mass and the position vector of center of mass is called rc then if we call this distance as something i'll name this point as a this is c this point as b then sum of moment of mass about the center of mass should be equal to zero summation of mr should be zero that means m1 into ac should be equal to m2 into cb right this is what just now we proved it over than the last topic now this ab or ac value and cb value we need to calculate in terms of the position vector so we can write m1 into this distance we can write it as rc minus r1 vector to m2 into the this distance we can write it as r2 minus rc vector then let us expand it m1 rc minus m1 r1 vector is equal to m2 r2 minus m2 into rc vector bring it all rc terms together m1 plus m2 into rc vector is equal to m1 r1 vector plus m2 into r2 vector so position vector of the center of mass rc will be m1 r1 plus m2 r2 divided by m1 plus m2 suppose if you want to write in terms of the coordinate the coordinate of that particular point x1 comma y1 this will be x2 comma y2 then the center of mass is xc comma yc then this we can write it as xc equal to m1 x1 plus m2 into x2 divided by m1 plus m2 similarly yc will be equal to m1 y1 plus m2 into y2 divided by m1 plus m2 so I understood how to calculate the position of the center of mass of two particle system and if many particles are there hey there hope you understood the concept here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning Use the comment section below to post your feedback, questions or queries. Learnpedia's JEE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4000 videos and over 20,000 solved examples. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.